Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the view router. So I'm in a uh, new directory called view router demo. And all I have in here is an index file, index.html. I'm using this unpackaged CDN to grab the view and the view router. Um, so with that, I want to make sure um, my JavaScript is only going to run when the DOM is loaded. So I'm just going to wrap that in a window.onload. And what I want to do here is just log out, loaded, and I'm going to use web server for Chrome to serve this up. So it can use our router. And let me go here to view router demo. And I'm going to change this to uh, 2000. Cool. And let's. Uh, running background web server and let's go here to 8000 and why is it not working let's see web server one 8000 there we go cool so now we're on view router demo and we just have a very basic web server running let's make sure this is working loaded cool and i don't have the view uh, dev tools but it's okay and the next thing that i want to do here is um, I want to create a very basic view component. So I'm going to give this a div with an ID of app. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const app equals a new view. And we're going to bind it to this element of app. And uh, that's all good to go. Make sure we're not getting any errors there. Cool. And uh, what I want to do now is uh, give it just uh, what I'd like to do actually is get rid of this app or not, not get rid of it completely, but what I'm going to do is actually pass in our router to our app instead. So we're gonna create a router and a router is going to be um, basically just an object with some properties on it, okay? And so what it, what is it going to have? It's going to have a mode, and we want it to be a history. And then it's going to have routes, which is an array of objects. All right, we're going to have two routes here. And finally, I need to tell view to use our router. So I'm going to do view.use, and we're going to use the view router. Okay, so let's make sure all of this actually works for us. Let's go here and inspect element, make sure we're not getting anything. Let me see if I can log view router there's our view router cool okay so with that let's define our first route so our first route we're going to give it a name of root a path of just slash for the root route and finally it's going to have a component and this component is going to be main component okay and from there we need to create a main component. So we're going to say view. We're going to say const main component equals view. And we want to create a component. So first argument is the name, main component. And then an object, right? And on this object, make this a little bit bigger. Uh, we're just going to give it a property of data. And this data is going to have a, a message property of main component okay one thing that i forgot to do is actually mount my app so i need to call dot mount okay and give it uh, where i want to mount and that will be the app okay so there's nothing really here right now but let me just go back and make sure we're not getting any errors still and what error are we getting the data option should be a function and that is true because uh, it needs to have its own scope so data is now a function and let's make sure it's not declining anymore cool all right so we have this data and how do we make it show up so what we need to do now is give it a template so we're going to give it a template string and so inside of here i'm going to say a div and we are going to try and put um, the message so let's do the Let's just do message. Make sure we're not getting any errors here. 
let's look at this body let me hit the app uh let's look at what we are doing wrong so let me do 404 country not found and let's look at the so we've got the router and i think the problem is that let's see what the problem is and before each so let me look at the router real quick do, 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 do. really quickly we need to do two things we need to actually give it the router view which will be almost like an ng view we need to do one more thing give it the template the path and the components foo is just a template new view router and that's going to be the router New view router dot not app. Let's see what the error is now. Router dot not is not a function. Let's look here. Can't read property matched with undefined. Okay, let's look. Routes, cost routes. Router is an object. And let me look at this. New view router. Oh, my bad, guys. So I need to actually do this and create a router right here. So I can say const router equals um, a new view router, okay? And then I think we can just pass in um, my router, All right? So we can change this to my router. I'm not sure what I'll put in pairs here. I was assigned path is required in the route configuration. And what does it tell me now? Ah, so I think I forgot one thing. Base is window.location.href. And what is the error? Path is required. Path routes. There's no way. Path sort by country mode. Let me look real quick. Let me look at my path. MG router routes. There's no way. Why is it erring? And path is required in the route configuration. View router address 16. Let's check this out. View router. Do, 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 do. New view router. And do, 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 do. okay, let's just try and make a simpler one. So we'll say comp router equals a new view router and say routes okay similar to before so path root main root component is main component let's go back here let's refresh and what error are we getting now that a function should return an object uh function Ah, my bad. This is a function, and this should return an object. And this should just say message, main component. Cool. Let's refresh that, and we have our main component, guys. Um, the next thing that I want to do is change this now to mode history to get rid of that hash bang. Okay, cool. And now we have view router. I think that can get rid of that object now. I might be wrong, but just let me make sure. And no, that's not true. It needs to be given an object still. So with that, uh, we have our main component. And let's see what happens if we go to a different one. We get entry.found. That's okay. Let's uh, build out one more route, which is going to be our 404 route. So this is path, catch all, asterisk, wad card. We'll say name, uh, air, right, and component. It's going to be air component. Okay. What we can do in here now is same formula, create a component for ourselves, and we'll just change this to error, error, uh, message is gonna be error component, right? And now, if we go back here, and we refresh this, say error, uh, why is it not working yet? And components, let me think, why is it not doing it? Path 
Mm. Make sure not found. All right, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work because this is not picking it up on the server side. But I think if we change this back to hash, and we come in here. Now we get error. Yeah, we got error component. So that's because we're using the HTML5 mode. Um, so that's how you create a very basic router uh, with Vue. And um, so yeah, there's different modes, obviously. Uh, but let's say just change this to asterisk, right? And now, no matter what we type in, right? If we do like miss or you know whatever dogs, you know, we're gonna get this error component. But the minute we go back, we got our main component. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.